Welcome back, everybody. They're so easy to put together and are sure to impress your guests. It's called Pinchos or Pinchos. I'll get it right. It, it hails from Spain and are the hottest new apps out there. Here to show us how to assemble these bite sized eats and say it properly is, a, a, I'm going to say celebrity chef now, Grant Van Gameren and Chris sure. Brown. You guys have collaborated together. It's called Victor Dries Events. This is just a sample of what you do because you've traveled the world. I mean, you guys really are celebrated. You have six restaurants now in Toronto, mm -hmm. all of them you know, hailed around the world as the top in the city. Thank you. You've traveled all through Europe, and mm -hmm. your philosophy is? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. So what is a, how do you say it? Pincho. 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 Okay, it means so spike. Spike. So, so how is this different from a tapa? Uh, it's Tapas. generally smaller, and it's always got a skewer on it for the most part. Okay. Right? So the whole idea is in Spain, in northern Spain, you would, you know, come up to the table and just pick what, you, what looks good. Ah, so and it's easy to eat. Yeah, so I mean, it's, uh, you know, for us, it's just like a refreshing new take on kind of entertaining at home. Okay. And catering instead of, you know, the past canapé. It's, you know, like it's much more visual and yeah. kind of laid out like mm -hmm. a food station. You know, you eat, you chat, sure. you drink. Okay, and over here, what are we making? Uh, we're going to make some curried nut butter. Uh, we've got some almonds, some curry, some, some uh, grapeseed oil. Okay. So do it, put it all you together ready? for us. All yes, right. let's do it. Chris right. Brown is here all right. to tell you how to do it at home. So That's what we all the have. almonds. This is all the almonds. So what we have here is we have some some amazing blossom honey. What kind of honey? Blossom. Okay, so blossom. Can we use like regular? You can honey? use regular awesome. honey. You can use no honey. You can use maple syrup. You can use whatever you want. Okay, really. just like a binding sweet ingredient. Exactly. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more almonds and a little curry powder. So just a little. We'll just have the recipe on our website. See, this is a really interesting recipe, just like with the curry and the nuts. Like, you wouldn't think of putting curry in a nut butter. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's really interesting when it kind of balances with the sweet honey. And then it's the sea salt. And then you would use this as a spread for anything, really? For sure. I mean, we use it with blue cheese. You know, blue cheese and dates over here. So, so you like the pungent aroma of the blue cheese, and you want to sweeten it out a bit with the date. A little date. bit of the date, a little bit of the curry gives it a savory thing. What's this one here, chef? This this is the first pincho, pincho. ever created. It's okay. called the Hilda. What are so the, the ingredients pincho? in the layers of the, the it's Hilda? It's a super pincho. It's a super gilda. Super but, gilda. Uh, <laughs> this is a bocarone, a guindilla pepper, chorizo, a little bit of manchego, and a stuffed olive. And that's and what's this the is the fish? first one that created all of us. This is this is it's this a, was the start. It's a pickled anchovy. But it's not a hot pepper, is that's it? Right. No, it's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna try. It's okay. Chef. It's okay. Yeah, they you gotta get a little messy. I gotta get I gotta get used to the pincho. And you don't mm, even. Mmm, that is so good. No, but that's heavy duty. How do you know how many pieces you need for a party? Like, how do you average that out? Um, you know, I think you're looking at like three to four to five, you know, depending if you're having dinner. Like, you get, you know, in Spain, you get a full meal like this, mm -hmm. right? So you just have a small beer. Um, so we offer, you know, like a selection of 12, 6, whatever you want. Right, it depends if you're just doing that versus having like the heartier plates. Exactly. So, Chef, you process that. So this, so this would be great for, so this is a little thick, but you get the point. So and you, you would put it in there longer, more of, more of a butter? You want it, you want it more smooth. But okay. But okay. this is this is this is fine too. Uh, you're just looking for the flavor. The curry and the almonds is really the mm. the uh, the flavor. But we have it here on the dates, the dates with the blue cheese. Yeah, take Pinchos. this one over here. Yeah. And take us through this. You have octopus. So this is octopus. This is uh, stracciatella and bocarones, one of uh, you know our most popular ones that we do at Bar Raval. Mm. Um, octopus and peppers, a little bit of manchego, piquillo, jamon, which is this guy. You can do egg, smoked mussels. You know, the big thing is, is that, you know, you can go to Cheese Boutique or one of your, like, specialty stores, pick 20 ingredients, mm. and just mix and match whatever tastes good. And I love that you have a lot of proteins and different sauces. It really is such beautiful flavors, and every one oh, is different. Amazing. Way to go, guys. This is going to be yet another huge success. It is called Victor Dries. Go to at Vic Dries events to book them for any large party, small party. They do it all. And you guys are really taking over the city with your culinary genius. It's a great collaboration. Right now, over to Mel. Uh, I'll try and save you some, Mel.